In this recording, we look at how to solve matrix equations of the form determinant a minus lambda times i equals zero. And this has useful application in various areas such as calculating eigenvalues of a matrix, for instance. But here we're mainly just going to focus on the method of computing an expression like this. And we'll illustrate this in relation to the following example. Given a is equal to 2, 1, 2, 3, we want to find all values of a scalar lambda that satisfy debt a minus lambda i equals 0. So let's start by writing that expression out in full. So we want the determinant of a, which was 2, 1, 2, 3, minus the scalar lambda times i. And i is the unit matrix or identity matrix of the appropriate order. And so here, since A was a 2 by 2 matrix, we want a 2 by 2 unit matrix. And remember, the unit matrix always has ones on the principal diagonal that starts from the top left, and the other elements are all 0. So we're solving the determinant of this expression equal to 0 here. Now the first thing we can do in working this out is when we multiply a matrix by a scalar, every element of that matrix is multiplied by the scalar. So lambda i will become lambda times 1 is lambda, lambda times 0 is 0, lambda times 0 is 0, lambda times 1 is lambda. So we're now calculating the determinant of this expression equal to 0. Furthermore, when we subtract one matrix from another, we subtract the corresponding elements in each case. So the first row, first column element will be 2 minus lambda. The first row, second column element will be 1 minus 0 is just 1. In the second row and first column, it will be 2 minus 0 is 2. And in the second row, second column, 3 minus lambda. So we're basically wanting to solve for lambda such that the determinant of the following matrix is equal to 0. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix. So the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix will be the product of the elements on its principal diagonal, starting from the top left, so 2 minus lambda times 3 minus lambda, minus the product of its elements on the other diagonal, so minus 1 times 2. And we're still solving this equal to 0. So expanding these brackets, we have 6 minus 3 lambda minus 2 lambda, plus lambda squared minus 2 equal to 0, which is just a quadratic. And collecting like terms and simplifying, we are solving lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 4 equals 0 here. So we could use the quadratic formula, or in this case, it'll be quicker just to factorise this particular expression. Factors of 4, negative 4, and negative 1 will be useful here to give lambda minus 1 times lambda minus 4 equals 0. Therefore, the solutions are lambda equals 1 or 4. So those values of lambda satisfy the original equation that we started with for the following matrix.